everyone, I'm Shannon Kantner and welcome to Class Act, a CMSD TV program where we feature some of our outstanding scholars all across the district. Today I'm joined by students from Marion Sterling. Thanks so much for being here guys. <laughs> don't be nervous, don't be nervous. All right, why don't we start with introductions? We'll start down there. My name is Zakiron Gillespie. And what grade are you in? I'm in seventh grade. Awesome. My name is Sharon Coleman. I'm in the eighth grade. My name is Shana White and I'm in the sixth grade. Perfect. See, that wasn't so hard, right? Yeah. All right. So why don't we start by telling me what you guys like? What's your favorite part about being a student at Marion Sterling? I think my favorite part at being Marion Sterling is kickboard. It's kickboard. All right. We'll get to that a little later. I'll have... We'll talk about that because I know you have something pretty special to tell me about kickboard, right, Mishana? Yeah. All right. All right. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, my favorite part about being at Mary Sterling is that we all treat each other like family, and uh, like whether we're at home or at school, we with our family. I like that. All right. Can yeah. I? Basically, what Sharon said, how it's like how they real close and treat us like we're family and don't let anyone be left out or treat anyone better than anyone else. Great answers, guys. Sounds like a nice place to be. Yeah. All right, so why don't we start with you two, the gentleman here, since you talked about being like family at the school. I know I'm sitting with the two captains of the basketball team, right? Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about that and being on the basketball team. Well, it's like what we really do is like we have a lot of practices, and when we play in our practice, we treat each other like family. We're basically brothers, and our coaches treat each other treat us like family. And we're base and we're actually in the playoffs now. We uh our last game was Wednesday yesterday. Wow. So what's it like to be a captain? Uh it's it's uh like it's like it's fun to be a captain, like somebody like I'm like being a good example for like someone like younger than me trying to look up to me, something like that. But I've been a captain before this a couple times. And, uh like uh like it ain't it ain't nothing like just like being a good role model mm -hmm. and like being a leader. That's awesome. How's your season been going? I mean, you're in the playoffs. How's, how's it been? It's been, been cool. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Tough, tough games? Who's your, who's your rival? Uh, Kenneth Clement. Clement. <laughs> All right, Boys Leadership Academy. Yes. So how have you guys been doing against them? They uh they beat us one time, but uh, we're we going to see them in the playoffs. Yeah. Well, I wish you guys the best of luck there. And speaking of playoffs, I know that sometimes um, students can go to the games using kickboard. They're bulldog bucks, right, Mishana? Yes. All right, so talk to me about kickboard first. What is that? Kickboard is like um, something the teachers use to give us money for being good, for good behavior. So like, um, we, it's a store too. So yesterday we had a store to buy school supplies, snack, I'm not snacks, but like breakfast, like pop tarts or something like that. And the students on the lighthouse team, they choose the prices. Um, and I know that you also call them bulldog bucks, right? Because yeah. bulldogs are your mascot. So you yes. can earn those with good behavior. And you earn, I think, five. Uh, Bulldog box when you come to school every day, right? When when you're on time. time. When yeah, I like that when you're on time. And Rashana, you have the most Bulldog box out of anyone in the whole school. Yes. All right. How many do you have? Three hundred and six. Three hundred and six. My goodness. How long have you been saving those? Um, I think since I started until I spent some on the um, basketball game and a pop tart and a pencil. A pop tart and pencil in a basketball game. Uh -huh. Pretty good purchases. <laughs> so what are you saving up for now? Do you, do you have something in mind? I think we're going to see the point. I think that's Bulldog Books. That, that costs for Bulldog Books, Bulldog Books to go. Wow. How, do you know how many that's going to be? All right. Yeah. So you're saving until then. And what have you done? Tell me some of the things you know that have helped you earn that many Bulldog Bucks. Mr. Brosman, our English teacher, he like I be, I do good behavior in all my classes, but I like Mr. Brosman. He give us money for paying attention. He give us fun work. Like we're still learning, but we're having fun at the same time. That's awesome. Great. Well, that's so important. You want to be able to have fun while you're learning, right? Yeah. So talk to me a little bit about that, about learning and your goals as a student. What do you, what do you guys vision for yourselves as students? My goal is to like achieve all A's on my next two report cards 
that's a, coming out. All right. Yeah, I basically, basically he said I want to be an RA graduate so that I could be accepted. Like once I get through eighth, I could be accepted into a good high school and then go to college and all that. Michelle, I want to when I grow up, like get out of eighth grade. Not, I mean, high school. I want to go to Yale University. Yale. That's awesome. Good for you. Yeah. Do you guys, I, I won't ask you about college quite yet, although you might have some ideas for that. Do you guys know where you want to go to high school? Well, high school, uh, Bard, early college. Bard? Uh, I really, I really don't know. I was I don't know thinking about either going to East Tech, Gen Academy, or John Marshall. Great options. All right. And you, Rashawn? I think Any I want to go to um, School of Arts. School of Arts. Great, oh, three very different uh, cho you know, options and choices for you guys. I think that's great, good for you guys. And we already hear you wanna go to Yale. Do you guys have any ideas about college yet? Oh yeah, uh, I wanna like go to O-State. State. Ohio State. Ohio State, be some Buckeyes? Yes. Play basketball there? Yes. <laughs> All right, great. Well, um, so we talked about your goals. What advice would you have for other CMSD students out there, whether they're at Marion Sterling or, or other schools? I'll, uh, oh, you wanna go? You go. I would say to like younger students at Marion starting to keep trying, don't give up on their dreams, try to get to the next grade, encourage other students to also to be leaders at Marion Sterling. That's great advice. Awesome. Don't give up on your dreams. I like that. All right. Uh, like to like have a like uh like follow somebody who's doing positive things, and like so that way you will set a. Like, it'd be proactive to, like, the younger kids, something like that. And, like, uh, basically, that's it. All right. That's great. Um, basically, like, be a leader and not a follower. But if, like, some people want to follow into the right path, it's better to be a good follower than a bad one. That's great. Be a leader. Great, and you can really tell the whole family atmosphere here. So you guys are talking all about great advice to other students. I always like giving students a chance to do some shout outs. So are there people you want to say hi to, or friends, family, anyone you want to, you can look right in the camera, give some shout outs. I'll give you each a turn. Miss Chesna. <laughs> Miss Chesna is your principal, right? Yeah. All right, that's a great shout out. Anyone else? Miss Bear. <laughs> all right. And what do you want to say to them? out there. Akira? <laughs> no, I ain't got nobody. Stanley. Amari. Nobody. Brazil. You, you don't have an auntie or a grandma? Oh, yeah, my mama. You, your my mama? Mother. That's great. And my cousin. And what do you want to say to them? Uh, thank you for being a good role model. Helping me through tough times. I thank Miss Chestnut for the changes she put through our school. Like, I'm not saying like our other principals was bad, but I think Ms. Chestnut did a wonderful job making the school better with kickboard, school supplies. Um, well, yeah. That's awesome. So it sounds like those things are helping you guys be successful students. Talk to me a little bit about that and being, you know, how being at Marion Sterling is helping you succeed as a student. Uh, I really like, so that the kickboard thing started, like, Cause people be like, like they want, they want money, so like they, they try to like go against each other, and when they do not to earn money, like they be synergizing, and like working together, and they come to school every day, cause like they already know they getting followers for coming to school, so they are gonna come to school more. Really helps like, with attendance. Yeah, helps with attendance. attendance. Yeah. Yeah, and like with the bulldog points, it really helps, cause we have, since we do the bulldog points. We don't have anything like if we get in trouble or if we do good, we show that we're being rewarded and show that if we be good, it helps us and helps us do better. I think that if one person would be good to, I mean, like to come to school, I think everybody would because not only because of kickboard and stuff we get to buy, but it, it encourages us our education time better. That's great. I think that is a wonderful note to end on. What a great message, you guys. It was so much fun talking with you. Is there anything else that you want to say about your school or being a student there that we didn't get to touch on? Obviously, you already got your shout outs out there. So <laughs> anything else though? Uh, no. No? Our single gender classes. Single gender classes? Talk to me about that. We're 
the girls been working up to get lockers, but eighth graders, I think, got them first. But I think we're in second place. Not saying the boys bad, <laughs> but I think that all of us can um, go get up there to be and get lockers, maybe get our same different gender classes back if we do better, maybe. Yeah. Uh. Well, she is in an all-girls single gender class, and I'm in an all-boys single gender class. And it's actually real helpful because it helps us do better and we get to get done with our work easier instead of trying to, like, show out for the girls or, like, try to do something better or try to be tougher than somebody just to show that we're tough in front of girls or something. We'll try to, we just act normal in front of each other. And we, and the teachers, like, when we're around boy teachers, we get to talk more about, like, boy things and all that instead of, like, having to, like, cut out certain things we could talk about since we're in mixed genders. That's awesome. That's, it must be really helpful as a student, especially in the middle school years, to be able to feel so comfortable in your classrooms and be able to pay attention to your academics and learning instead of all the other stuff, right? Yes. Great. Well, now anything else? I'm glad you mentioned that. Thank you, Mashana. Anything else, guys? No. All right. Well, I wish you best of luck at your games, obviously, thank on the basketball you. team. And you, I can't wait to hear what you do with all of your bulldog bucks. So thank you guys so much for being here. That's all for now. Thanks for watching Class Act. Hello everyone, I'm Shannon Kantner and you're watching Class Act, a CMSD TV program where we sit down with our scholars all across the district and feature them and the exciting things they're doing in their school. Today I'm joined by scholars from Marion Sterling. Thank you guys so much for being here. Well, thank you for thank having you. us. All right, I love that enthusiasm. Why don't we start <laughs> with you guys just introducing yourselves. We'll start right here. My name is Stanley Turpin from Marion Sterling I, and I represent my school. And what grade are you in, Stanley? Fifth grade. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Hi, I am Brazil Jackson, fifth grader at Marion Sterling. Great. I am Omari Pritchett, and I am a fourth grade. Cool. So fourth grade and two fifth graders here. All right. So first question for all of you, what is your favorite part about being a student at Marion Sterling? What do you like about it there? Well, well, the teachers, they treat us like we're family, like we're their blood. You know, Miss Pam, she, she well, she, she, she treats us like <laughs> Like, like we her own. That's great. That's really nice. So it feels like you're going from home to home when you yeah. go to school. I like that. Brazil, who has um, a case of the giggles <laughs> over there. My favorite part of Mary Sterling is the lighthouse scene because I'm a leader, and so it's like very fun to lead people to success and having fun and having people follow us after something that's good. Right, and we'll talk a little bit more about the Lighthouse team later on. Awesome, thanks. My favorite part about um, being at Mary Sterling is just meeting meeting Miss Spann and Miss Chestnut because at first I didn't like school. And then Miss Spann, she treated me like I'm her daughter. Wow. Yeah, we got family there. That's family. wonderful. <laughs> Sounds like a great place. And I know. Um, something exciting for you guys right now, switching classes, yes. right? Yes. And all of you are a part of that, so talk to me about it. Well, third grade starts off with science and social studies, fifth grade started off with math, and fourth grade started off with ELA, English language arts. And so how does it work? Yeah. Fifth? Oh, <laughs> Stanley. Well. You're doing a great job. I'm going to hand it off okay. to Brazil, all right? All right, let's hear Brazil. So it starts off like with everybody with their homeroom teacher. So last year we was in fourth grade, and now we in fifth grade, and then they just started this, um, you know, switching classes and stuff. So we start off with our homeroom teacher, and fifth grade is with math. Um, third grade is with their homeroom teacher, Ms. Gastardin, science and social studies. And then you have reading, Miss Fan, fourth grade. And so after... After 10:40, that's the that's what time we switch, and four I mean fourth will go to math, and ma math fifth grade will go to science and social studies, and then third grade go to reading. So how does this help you guys as students? Is this something you really look forward to? Does it make the day more exciting? Do you think you're more faster? Okay, fast. Samari, were you gonna say it something? makes the day go faster instead of just sitting in the classroom all day. It go quicker. You think it helps you concentrate and get your work yeah. done? Yes. 
That's great. Awesome. All right. So now I want to talk to you guys about some of the other really cool things you have going on at your school. I know two of you are in The Lion King, right? <laughs> yes. All right. Talk to me about that. That must be a lot of fun. Well, I'm Mufasa. You're Mufasa? Yes. That's like the star role, right? Besides yes. Simba? Yes. Oh, wow. All right. Yes. You might have to do give us a little uh, voice or, or song yeah. or something in Mufasa. Okay. Well, I'm the king of the Pride Lands. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's good being Mufasa. The, the, Lion King, the Lion King program is fun. We, we all get to act and we like stretch and have fun and we sing and dance. It's, it's a fun program. Great. Did you have to audition? Mm, no. Yes. What? Sorry. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> all right. All right, Amarian, what are you playing in it? I'm Rafiki, one, two, and three. Ooh. Um, it's fun. It's fun. It's hard work, but it's fun. Sometimes we go to try C to like get us ready to be on stage and know how to perform. And you guys are actually performing it at Playhouse Square? Is that yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great. How excited are you? That's a big deal. I, I'm really excited. I'm excited. I talk about it every time I go home. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Have you ever done something like this before, a production like that? No. Mm, no. Not really. No. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I need to hear a little something from both Mufasa and Rafiki. Give me a line or something. A line? Yeah. <laughs> a king's time as ruler rises and falls like the sun. One day, Simba, the sun will set on my time here and will rise with you as the new king. Wow. Hey. Oscar. <laughs> An Oscar right here. You're officially nominated. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. All right, Rafiki. Let's Welcome hear to our village. Today we will share with you our favorite story. One of a young lion who becomes king. Yay. Oh, yay. <laughs> Best supporting actress over here. All right, guys. My goodness. That was great. I got it. When can I get tickets? <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll find that out. Make sure to include it in the program. All right, so um, other really great things that you're, you guys are up to in school, besides just not just Lion King, I mean, that's yeah. a big deal, but you also are doing, you also obviously learn a lot during school. You guys are doing some really important research about colleges. Yes. Talk to me about that. Well, we're doing research on HBCUs, Historical Black Colleges or University. <laughs> my, my, my college is Benedict College. And mine is Kathleen University, Orangeburg, South Carolina. Mine's is, my university is located in Columbia, South Carolina. All right. And what, what have you guys learned about your colleges? Well, we actually did this research and this project because we were just talking about how black, how black lives matter and stuff, and how it's um, colleges like for black people and stuff. And so we was just doing the research and stuff. So we all we did on HBCUs only, and we just found out like it was like real cool to just know that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, is it something that now you might have interest in as as you look to further your education? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's great. Awesome, guys. All right. And we mentioned this earlier, but uh, the Lighthouse team. Yes. That's a leadership team in your school that some of you are a part of. So talk to me about that. Yes. Being a light, being a lighthouse leader is a is a big responsibility because you lead people to success and help people and guide them. And I just want to say that I really like it, but it's like it's hard being something that you know you get picked on for. Well, always doing the right thing, and but you as a leader you make that decision. Well, I know I might get picked on, but I think that this is the right thing to do, and so I'm gonna do it. And it's just like real cool being a, being having seven students in this whole entire school leaders. Everybody is considered a leader, but it's like them seven people who take it to that advanced level. So you're standing up for what you believe in, yes. helping make decisions for the school. What kind of stuff do you guys you know talk about and then decide for for the school? What kind of plans? Well, we talk about how much snacks and pencils are are at our school. <laughs> To, to buy with our bulldog books. And That's a big deal. People need snacks and pencils, <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. All right. And we also talk about um, what we want and what we need for our school. So, like, when we about to go to our meetings, we tell our classmates, well, well, maybe you should give us some ideas what you want or what you need 
And so our students, our classmates, give us them ideas and we go back and report them to Ms. Chestnut and she make it possible. So that's an important life lesson, the wants versus needs for your school, that's a big deal. All right, so you guys have talked to me a little bit about all the things that you're involved in, what you like about your school. What are your goals as students? I'll, I'll start with Amari. My goals are to like become successful, um, like because at first I had a kind of issue with the way I talk to people, but now I'm working on that. That's my goal, to keep my attitude together. My end of mind is to my face expression, like I, when I talk to people, I'm like, <laughs> That's just your resting face. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> but now I'm learning how to be more gentle and more ladylike, and I, cause you know you have that support, that family, like we was talking about, and they want us to grow up and be healthy and have good jobs and no struggle. So I'm just working my end in mind is to get my attitude together, my face expressions, and to have a nice lifestyle. Fantastic. My end of mine is to go go to college and, and become successful and become a computer engineer. Computer engineer? Yes. That's what you're already thinking about in fifth grade? Yes. yes. Wow. Well, we all thinking about college already only in fifth grade. That is fantastic. Okay, so then talk to me. Where do you think you want to go to high school and where do you think you want to go to college? Well, I do want to, in high, for high school, I do want to go to John Hay because that's where my mother went and my father. Wow, legacy over there. Yeah. All right. And where so, where do you think you want to study computer engineering? Well, it's okay if you don't know yet. You have some time. I'm not ready. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Um, you have lots of options. <laughs> um, um, I want to go to Spelman, and I want to be a surgeon. And so it's like I'm real serious in science and stuff because mm -hmm. you got to know science, a lot of science kind of open bodies and stuff. <laughs> yeah, you sure do. So, and my high school I want to go to, I want to go to Cleveland School of Arts. Great. Or John Hay, but more like Cleveland School of Arts. Right next to each other, so yeah. that's at least an easy decision <laughs> to make in terms of location. All right, Amari? The high school I want to go to is MC Square because my brother goes there. Um, I want to be a chef. I don't really know where I want to go to college at, though. <laughs> chef. Fantastic. All right. So I have my personal cook, I have my doctor, and I have the guy who can fix all of my technology stuff. This is great. You guys are hired. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you. Okay. So we talked about, you know, what you see for your future. What advice would you give to current or, you know, students out there, whether they're at Marion Sterling or just in CMSD? Well, if you have a goal, just go for it and do what you got to do to accomplish that goal. That's great. Uh, that's very good advice. That's a that's advice we can listen to for the rest of our lives. That's great. Some advice I give students out there: be yourself. You can either lead or you can follow after the right things, and go after your dream. I mean, you only got this whole life ain't so long, so do what you gotta do. Unless you have a great surgeon right. in your life, then <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you can live a little longer. <laughs> All right, good advice. Um. I want to just tell people just never give up. Just follow your dreams. Good stuff, guys. Those could be posters. <laughs> I like that. All right, so now that you've given out your advice, why don't you give some shout outs? I let all, all the students on the show do that. So, your friends, family, whatever you got, you look into a camera and you tell them. I'd like to shout out to Miss Chestnut and Miss Fan. <laughs> Your principal, is that your favorite teacher? Well, maybe you shouldn't say favorite, but your yeah. principal and, and the teacher you like, okay? Um, I want to give shout outs to my mama and Miss Chesna and Miss Fan, my favorite teacher, and Miss Casarda and Miss Archer. Hey, y'all. I want to give a shout out to Miss Fan and Miss Chesna. One more shout out. Hey, Miss Casarda. Hey. <laughs> oh, these are some classic shout outs. I like this. All right, well, thank you guys so much for being here. It was a lot of fun to talk with you and learn more. About thank you for having us. us. Oh, yes. thank you guys. Gosh, you're hired. All right. That's all the time we have now for Class Act. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.